Hello and welcome back to our HIP Republic of Ireland campaign. Our last episode was quite an eventful one. We had our first succession. Our father, Mirka, died at the fairly decent age of 69, so we're now playing as Lord Mayor Donal. But we are no longer in charge of the Republic. Instead, we are the vassal of our father's best friend, Grand Mayor Donal Dove. So that's quite nice, actually, but we did discover something that uh, I probably should have remembered from the last time I played a Republic, which is that if we're not in charge of the Republic, we can't plot to seize other people's trade posts or take them by force of arms if we have way more trade posts than them already. So there's no real advantage to us to not being in charge of the Republic. So we will probably be aiming to win the le next election and most likely every other election until the end of time. So that's fine. We should be able to maybe buy this one. Let's see how much it would cost to get us uh, up into the running here. This guy is currently the front runner, so we should be able to afford this actually pretty easily. Kind of thought it would be more expensive. We'll go up to about 5,000 respect and leave it at that for the moment. That should give us a pretty good chance. We could hasten things along, of course, by trying to kill Donald Dove, but obviously that would be an affront to the memory of our dear departed father to plot to murder his best friend, so we definitely won't be doing that. We also, in the last episode, lost the embargo war that England declared on us, which is fine, not a huge deal. It just means we lost some trade posts. We don't have control over this zone, for example. It's basically all the trade posts um, belonging to us in England that got destroyed. So I think it would, would be a few up here as well, which mostly weren't controlled by us personally, so that didn't affect us. We do have 9 out of 10 on our trade post limit, so I think the first one we'll rebuild is one down here to try and regain control over the sea zone. We'll just pay 260 in gold, I think that will be fine. Alright, we are unhappy in the Prosperity Faction. And the Grand Mayor has agreed to increase the power of the Council, okay. So there was an increased Council Power Faction, which I guess has now delivered an ultimatum and that has been granted. Which, actually, I don't think we're too happy about because we're going to be in charge of the Republic again in the not-too-distant future and we don't want... Council having too much power. So was it war declaration that got changed, maybe? Or imprisonment? I don't know. Either way, I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, we are also building... Oh, um... Well, other patricians can declare war on us is something else that we should remember, so... The Lord Mayor of Brea here has declared war on us. To do what? Trade war over Brea, which is like this trade post he's trying to seize, I suppose. Okay, um, let's see, we don't have much in the way of troops available to us. We have 1200 gold, which we could use to hire mercenaries. We could pull all of our gold out of the campaign fund and use that for mercenaries too. Seems like he has... 23, 2400. Well, we could afford to outnumber him pretty handily with mercenaries if we hired the White Company or something. So if we hire them, they're going to arrive in Antrim and this army is probably going to crush them. So if we let them go there first, we should be able to hire the mercenaries and they'll spawn in some nearby county. Okay, we'll hire, I guess the White Company would be fine. I am just wondering if it's maybe not in our best interest to just surrender, and instead of spending a bunch of gold on mercenaries, we use it to just build a new trade post. We could quite easily just build 
an additional trade post in this sea zone to replace the one that we're going to lose. Uh, let's see, we should have control over this. In fact, it's only this one and this one that we don't have. We have otherwise one, two, three, four, five trade posts. Oh, there's one in the Isle of Man as well. So we wouldn't lose control over the sea zone. We'd get to keep our money. What are the other effects of just surrendering? He gains 50 prestige, we lose nothing. Um, I think that is logically the best thing to do, but I'm going to base it on my traits. Let's see, we're paranoid and we're humble. We are zealous, would that be something that would convince us to fight instead of surrendering? Maybe not. I guess just would maybe lead us to believe that we deserve to own the trade post that we built and to not give up without a fight. It would be very unjust of them to seize our rightful property from us. I don't think paranoid really would affect the decision too much. Okay, we'll fight. So we'll hire the White Company. They'll appear over here. That should be enough to win the war for us, I imagine. Let's just retreat them over here to make sure they don't get caught by anything while we're replenishing their morale. His main army's just gotten out of boats. I guess they're just meeting up with the other army. So if they're going to be in Antrim, we will be attacking into hills. But I think we have enough numbers to make that okay. Also be crossing a river. But I guess that's unavoidable. With these numbers, I think we should definitely be okay. I received word an enemy host is approaching Dun Severick and will momentarily have me and my family trapped within the walls. I must decide what to do before it's too late. So I think we'll probably all stay here together. We're about to march in and save the day anyway. Uh, let's also raise whatever troops we can raise from our other cities down here, which is not too many, but it could make the difference. Uh, he's about to finish the siege. Is he sieging the actual holding, or is this, this the siege of the trade post? He is sieging the city. Okay, we better get moving then. Uh, we have a new heir. Okay. Oh, I guess we lost the siege. As enemy soldiers stream into the room, I have no choice but to surrender. I'm at the mercy of the Lord Mayor. Damnation. So we have a new heir. Um, I guess if we're imprisoned, then... We have just lost this war and this battle won't matter. Our wife has been appointed as our regent, that's fine. I mean, we'll fight the battle anyway, just in case. But, yeah. Okay, so we lost. We lost the trade post, but as discussed, that's not actually too big a deal. We'll get our mercenaries and everything else disbanded immediately. Let me just come back here. So, we do still have control over this zone, as expected. We have four trade posts, and the Flabberthies have three, so we should build another one up here somewhere, and we're already building one down here. But we have the space in our trade post limit to do that. So I guess we'll build one, I don't know, Chester? Arguably we should build one outside of England if possible, but I don't think that is possible. 
do it up here just to make it so that any future trade wars that England or embargo wars that England declares on us won't destroy our trade posts again. But I think these ones are going to be worth more if they have cities in there. We'll just build it in Chester. I guess while we have these mercenaries raised, we could see if we uh, can use them for something else. Uh, we do need to reselect an ambition and a focus since we're no longer in prison. Uh, we could try to become a member of our lieges council. That could be a good idea. And our son and our brother here are still imprisoned. We should probably do something about that as well. If we were to get on our Legion's Council, it would probably be a steward, so let's take that ambition, I suppose. And we'll take a stewardship-related focus, namely business. Uh, we can select a designated heir as well. I guess that'll be Aina. Unshow these ones. Oh, we do have commanders, okay. And our area is unmarried, so we should arrange that as well. See if we can find. Oh, there's a strong character right there. Genius would be better, but I'll take strong. Nine year old genius. Nope. I guess she's the better character. You get a non-aggression pact with Offaly. We're here, but I don't think we need to do that. Uh, we could gain gold, but I think we'll actually gain the prestige. It'll help us out in the election. We have some prestige and not zero. And let me just check before we disband the mercenaries who we can declare war on for what reason. We declare on England. Um, oh, we have raised levies. Let's get them disbanded first. We can seize a city from her. Yeah, I don't really want to be seizing cities outside of Ireland. We could, of course, declare war on our liege, but I don't think we'll be doing that. Take holdings in two counties where we hold the top holding. I don't think we want to do that either. Can't declare war on this guy, because he holds our, host, our close relatives hostage. We can seize trade posts in the Aegean Islands or Constantinople or Troad by declaring war on you. What is that about? Oh, he just has trade posts down here. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, those must have been expensive to build. Oh, well, I don't think we really want to do that. We can take holdings from you. I think we'll probably just stay at peace and disband the mercenaries, which now feel like a big waste of money, but that's okay. I met an interesting, perhaps slightly crazy traveler today. He claims to have seen red and yellow carrots in a faraway land. Haha, <laughs> what a good joke. Everyone can see carrots are purple. What next? Orange carrots? 
We are highly amused giving us plus one diplomacy. Okay. And our Grand Palace has been built, so that bumps our trade post limit up to 14. Which is good. So we are... Building one here in... Chester, did I not start building that? I definitely started building one down here. Hmm. I guess we'll restart that. And this one. We're getting kind of low on money now. Are we actually not able to build these because of the uh, truce from the Embargo War or something? Yet it'll still let me spend money on them? That seems terrible if that's the case. Uh, he wants to ransom us back our niece. We'll pay that, I suppose. I could not help but overhear the stable master and a courtier's animated discussion, something about a horse and a payment due today, but the courtier insisted to pay the stable master later that week. I guess we'll interfere. We settled the matter and tried to be as just as we could. They still won't speak to each other, but she is slightly happier. Okay. Well, let's not spend any more money trying to build trade posts where we apparently can't build them. Yes, we'll take our son back as well. And we'll take our brother. Our income at least is pretty good, so... Let's go over to the plot where this person seeks to kill, I think, my heir? We'll tell him to not do that, please. We can send our son into hiding. but I think this is because we are paranoid and there isn't actually a plot against him. Uh, he is going to stop plotting, that's fine. So we are in the Prosperity Faction, which, as we know, is unhappy. But I don't know what we can do with that. We're not the leader of the faction, so we would probably just have to wait for the leader to actually do things if anything can be done. Population of wolves in Wexford has grown to such size that their tax on livestock, runs once rare, have increased in number and are damaging the local economy. Bad to hear. Alright, so Donald Dove has offered us the position of steward, which will fulfill our ambition to become steward. Of course, we'll accept. Let's check out our liege's council, actually. So, we're the steward. Uh, most of the other councillors are unlanded, in fact. But we are a zealot, currently. I'm not sure if we want to stay a zealot, we could... I'm a loyalist, maybe? I guess that would be uh, reasonable. That we would be loyal to our father's good friend. Or we could be a pragmatist. I will go to loyalist for a while. We'll have to stay with for 12 months at least. We fulfilled our ambition. And take a new ambition. To acquire another title, which will give us some prestige. Become King of Ireland, okay. Room and heir. Increase size of our domain. I guess that could be something that we could achieve. We gain extra stewardship. I'm not sure if we can declare war on people outside of the realm. We have a trade post down here, so we should 
be able to declare war to seize this city. Actually, this city is not under the High King here. Is it Wexford or Waterford here that has that? It is, okay. Our council will not ratify this decision though. Everyone is returning favors. Everyone's returning favors to her. Thinks the opponent is too strong for us to take on. Well, she might be right. But if we save up a bit of money, we should be able to afford enough mercenaries. Maybe if we tried to declare while well, we still had the mercenaries raised from before, the council would have gone for it. Recognizing virtues and talents that others possess is truly a virtue, I am truly blessed by having a steward that truly knows how to govern a realm. Alright, we'll reward our steward. captain of one of our trade galleys was fished out of the water by a ship working for the Ubrenon family last week. Starved and half mad from scurvy, the captain reports that his crew mutinied and tossed him overboard. They seem to have decided on a life of piracy. So we lose 50 gold on that deal. Alright, our nephew needs a childhood focus. He's fertile. I guess we could go for something martial related maybe? He's slightly better at martial and diplomacy. We'll go for pride, I suppose. See what that leads to. Looks like the Lord Mayor here is at war again. Seizing another trade post, so he's very aggressive. And in fact, if he seizes this trade post, he will... Um, I mean, this way... You will have four trade posts in this sea zone, and we'll only have four as well, so we definitely need to build another one somewhere that we can actually build it this time. Uh, which I guess is going to be up here somewhere. In Alba? I guess we'll just do it in Carrick. Let's just make sure it actually stays there. Alright, our steward, who we just praised for doing a great job, has now started doing a terrible job, and he has raised a revolt risk in Antrim, which is unfortunate. Probably won't have any terrible consequences. Alright, so we still have... Lots of space in our trade post limit, but we're a bit low on gold thanks to straight up wasting so much of it on trade posts that we seemingly can't build. A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your strongholds. We'll let them in and take a free eunuch, that's fine. Tell us more about the mythical realm, and we will accept your generous gifts. Ooh is not really an amazing character, as it turns out. Alright, so I guess we'll just um, stay at peace, collect gold, try to get the council on our side when it comes to declaring war for a city. This guy can't be that powerful, surely. He's got just over a thousand. Maybe when these favors expire, we'll be able to get it through. Seven months, eight months. Okay, so we'll wait seven or eight months and see if we can get it through then. Today your personal cook prepared yet another meal by boiling. Remembering the derisive Byzantine maxim, the lazy cook prepares everything by boiling, you decide you might as well ask your cook why he is so lazy. Trying to look intimidating as possible, you approach the cook and tell him, don't be lazy, if you work hard, everyone will appreciate it. We'll get diplomacy and learning for a while. Or we can say some people might care, but personally I think it's fine that you're being lazy. We might become content, which would improve our stewardship. Or we can say, cook different varieties of food, maybe with garum or kefalintzin cheese. We might become gluttonous. I guess we'll take the chance of becoming content, which we didn't. Alright, 
Well, on that culinary note, we'll leave this episode here for now. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time 